What's going on YouTube? Luke Photography Walker here. Unboxing number four. Today is going to be a special one, so stick around. We're going to be unboxing three figures today from the uh, Galaxy of Adventure series, a series that I've actually grown to love, even though they're, you know, kind of a $5 figure, which is exactly what they are. Um, but still, the uh, lightsabers that they come with and accessories uh, are proven to be very nice, so uh, I'm hoping that these uh, three figures stay on that same line. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the dark side as we're lit in red here on my canvas. We're going to bring in Kylo Ren. Now I'm not a huge fan of the uh, uh, new trilogy. It has some special moments and uh, one of those moments is when Kylo Ren ignites his uh, red lightsaber with the uh, two uh, extra ignition ports coming out of the side for ventilation because apparently his crystal is cracked and uh, when he was trying to convert it to the uh, to the red he cracked it in the process so it needed extra ventilation so it wouldn't completely explode which is why it was unstable I really I really enjoyed that moment of the uh, the new movies so yeah I have uh, Darth Vader and the uh, Jet Trooper in this series, not really interested in picking up uh, um, Finn. He's kind of uh, a wonky looking figure. The character's not bad, but the figure really doesn't look great. So yeah, the Galaxy of Adventures. Really great, I think. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Just a little bit of tape holding it in. One layer of plastic keeping the figure in. Now the main reason I got this figure, not that I don't like Kylo Ren, but was for this cloak because I'm hoping that it fits on Luke Skywalker in the same Galaxy of Adventure series because the cloak looks just like he is from the Mandalorian. If so, it's going to be great for pictures. Which also you can find my pictures on my Instagram at Luke underscore photography walker. Just kind of sitting in the, in the plastic there. Nothing too special. Let's go ahead and have a look at Kylo here outside of the cloak. Actually, I'm going to look at the cloak first. <laughs> I mean, it's literally exactly like Luke's from The Mandalorian. So I really hope this looks good on him. If not, I may have to heat it up because it, it's, it's really nice. It's leathery. It feels leathery. It looks leathery. Flexible. Yeah, I'm hoping it fits on Luke nicely. But back to the figure. First glance, he looks nice. I love the uh, um, repaired helmet. The red looks nice on that. Very nice. Very nice helmet. A little sharp on the edges. I may have to go through and uh, sand those up. Those are a little sharp. Full range of motion in the arms. Elbows, hands, hmm. on both sides, nice. Usually with a Galaxy of Adventure figures, you either get one side or the other that moves, and more times than none, the elbows don't move, even though they all look like they should. But that's, that's, that's fine. Like I said, for $5, you're not going to get a better figure. Legs move, feet move, he has full range of motion. Waist move, he bends over, head up and down. Very nice. Very nice indeed. One thing I wish they would stop is putting the white on there, at least put it on black or inlay it into the figure itself. But not bad. Go ahead and get his lightsaber out. <coughs> Excuse me. Just kind of sitting in there. Very nice. Wow, it's even got the uh, uh, wire running up the side. Very nice red color. Has the unstable look to it. The, uh, I believe they're called Quinlans. Very impressive. This is why I love these figures. For five bucks, the uh, stuff that comes with them is really detailed. If Even if the figures themselves don't look that great. 
The Han Solo figure doesn't look great, but I'm tempted to get him just because of the uh, blaster. Very nice, very nice lightsaber. Oh, it's even got the red hilt. So this was uh, uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber when he was Ben Solo. Didn't have the uh, the saw exhaust ports, and it was gray, totally gray, <laughs> silverish, I guess. And then when he turned to the dark side, I guess he converted it. You have to bleed the crystal. And in the process, he cracked his crystal, which in turn made it unstable and need of exhaust ports. So yeah, not bad at all. Okay, continuing on with the dark side, we have the Sith Jet Trooper. Very nice. It's really a pity these guys didn't get much more screen time than they did the uh, red Sith Troopers. They were actually very appealing to me, I believe. Still on the hunt for the Yoda. If anybody has him and wants to send him along for an unboxing, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. But I have uh, everyone in the uh, set so far. I'm only picking up the ones that are proven to be a little harder to find. This was the only uh, uh, Sith Jet Trooper that was in stock at Walmart for, like I said, five bucks. It's similar packaging, except it's white. I guess this is the uh, um, whichever line. I guess they used the whichever line for the movie and then package one out in white for the... Uh, just for the Star Wars universe. This guy has a trooper blast. Very nice packaging. Like I said, most likely sent out for uh, kids, children. But if you like figures and you like taking pictures of figures, these are actually very nice. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Into the wild you go. Same piece of uh, single piece of plastic. Kind of keep it in. Very nice. Ooh, his elbow moves. I was kind of worried about that when I was looking at him in the package there. I was really hoping his elbow wasn't broken. But it's not, it moves. Everything looks great. Oh. Oh, look at that. Nice looking jetpack. I love the uh, yellow symbols and stuff that he has kind of all over him. See what I mean about the... Oh, this side does move. Wow. I'm going to have to look at the ones I have and make sure that those don't move because these two have full range of motion. So far, these two have been the most impressive. He looks great. The paint job is great. I'll say it again, I really wish these guys had gotten more screen time. You should have bought and bought these out with the uh with the first movie and had these been the stormtroopers in my opinion. Very nice. Nice range of motion. So yeah, it's got the the moving hands. Very very nine is in my opinion, but I'm okay with that. Very nice. Let's see the uh the blaster. Very nice blaster. Very nice. I'm not sure what this what this is. Looks like some kind of a a run on the original uh, stormtrooper blasters. But yeah, very nice. Paint job's great. I'm sure he holds everything pretty nice. It's even better than his arms bend. Looks great holding it. Yeah, I guess it's like a quick draw McGraw kind of a deal. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, and for the third and final figure we have here, we switched over to the blue because we're switching over to the light side. We have Ray. From the Galaxy of Adventures. 
very cartoony. I wish she looked like she did in the picture, but uh, it's okay. She has kind of elf ears going on there. But we'll see what's going on. I got her for, for the lightsaber, specifically. I wanted to see the uh, the Reforged Skywalker. So yeah, I got all of these. Not really interested in the Chewbacca. Uh, he has a expression on his face that's not very appealing to just any kind of a picture, so I'm not gonna even bother. Let's go ahead and go ahead and get Ray open. I will say that one piece of tape is pretty impressive. Or I need a sharper knife. Same single piece of plastic. Ray's going to have to come out legs first. Let's go ahead and sit that down. I do like her her robes. I may have to trim those ears up a little bit because, uh, yeah, she looks like Legolas from uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, side two looks good. Yeah, they're gonna need trimming up. I hope if they ever release uh, another version of Ray, they don't put such ears on them. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, everything looks pretty good. They did gray in the lettering right there. She's got a holster that holds her thing. Full range of motion. Looks like uh, the hands are molded to hold the blaster. Which should be interesting to see how she holds the lightsaber. Knees kind of move. Boots look great. She's not an awful looking figure, but the ears really, really don't do it. <laughs> That's okay. Moving on to the Reforged Skywalker lightsaber. Very nice. Very nice Graflex. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the name of the uh, the hilt was made from a Graflex uh, flash handle from a camera. So yeah, a lot of good history in this hilt. This lightsaber, the original Star Wars movie, the very first lightsaber that's seen. The sounds that are heard, which are, I believe, formed from when two uh, old tube TVs are put too close together. They give off that kind of a sound, and they recorded it. Yeah, I'm a lightsaber freak, so forgive me. But this one looks really good. Pommel looks great. Grips look great. The control box is even colored. Kind of, yeah. Very nice. Very nice lightsabers that come in these Galaxy of Adventure series. That's what I'm most impressed with. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get the blaster out. Blaster that Han Solo gives Ray. Not too bad. Could use uh, a little more detail, but that's, that's fine. It's a nice little blaster. Kind of goes in her holster right here. And then I'm not really sure how she holds the lightsaber in the movie. But yeah, she doesn't need to hold a blaster on a lightsaber. Not bad at all. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, three of the Galaxy of Adventure figures, two Seeth and one Light. Ray, 
with the Reforged Skywalker lightsaber and blaster. The Sith Trooper with his blaster and jetpack. And Carlo Ran with Luke Skywalker's cloak, the unstable red lightsaber. Three very nice figures. I'd recommend for anybody. All three of these cost 15 bucks. So go out to your local Walmart, pick them up. If you don't see them, wait, look online. I'm sure you can find them anywhere. But yeah, this was uh, my unboxing video, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I'm Luke Photography Walker. Check me out on Instagram, Luke underscore Photography Walker. Check out my uh, photography that I'm going to be doing with these guys. Being they're all in the same saga, it's going to be really fun. I have a couple other ones in the same saga. So be on the lookout for photographs and videos and all that kind of stuff that's going to be coming out in the future. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And once again, may the force be with you.